Well, Merry Christmas. Welcome back to our Vlogmas. It's the 13th of December. We're about halfway through our Advent calendars. Today we're not opening them. Well, we are later today, but uh, I've got a cup of aged eggnog. Grab a cup of eggnog or some holiday beverage. Phyllis is going to show us how she makes pens out of the ink that she's getting in her infant calendar. Then I'm going to show you some of our decorations. They're not all in here yet, but um, they're fun, we think, and um, hope you're having a great holiday season. So I'm going to start making the pens. I have four inks I've got to deal with, which are great. So I go ahead and order. What I've done is I put the number on the bottom of the, to shake it up, the shimmer ones. I put the number of the bottom so I wouldn't forget what day I had. And if it's a black thing, then you really should put a, and like a, sharp, a sharpie, a bright sharpie on it, like a metallic one. They work really good on black. And then I go ahead and I just go ahead and put the name of the ink color. I've created it with a label. So I will put my label on. So I've already pre-done my labels, make them look the same. And then I will go ahead and just continue to do that. It's nice when I have four in a row. One at a time is kind of, you know, you can see it's kind of labor intensive, if you will. And I just put it right over there. And so I got four of these. You can see right here, I've already created some. So it'll be a total of, what Kurt said, I think yesterday, a total of 25 inks, total of 25 ink pens. And I can always use these for a calligraphy pen or whatever I choose to use. That's the beauty of these kinds of inks, that you can use them for all sorts of things. I have to say I'm pleased with this advent calendar. It's something different, it's something unique, it's something that's up my alley. Um, you can use them for fountain pens too, right? Yeah, yep. So if you're a fountain pen aficionado. I do have a few fountain pens just because they're fun. People say that they're messy, but... I always liked them. They're not that messy. Problem is all the electronic stuff we've got now kind of makes it not as usable at times because it's easier to take iPad notes, but... Nice to have a fountain pen when you really so, want to write. I've, I'll put these right in front of the proper inks that I'm working with. Now this is the time that, so this one's a shimmer one. I've got to shake it up. This is the potential messy time. No, well, this is not, I don't, just be careful of spillage, but. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna throw a filter in there. And just go ahead and give it a little shaky. So those sponge things soak up that ink on their own and fill up the pen. Yeah, so apparently there's a plastic casting around it or casing around it, if you will. So, to, so you can wipe it off and not get it yeah, all. I'd like to see that shimmer there. I gotta shake it up, get it all in the ink before I throw the filter in there. Fill up pretty quickly, then you let them sit a little bit to make sure they completely fill. I think the time they suggest is five minutes, which... We're not going to wait five minutes. We'll, we'll edit we'll come around back five and, minutes. But this is the way I can do it quickly. I have, I'm all organized with what is what. The reason I have the Q-tips here is I will um, then put them in my palette book or whatever. So... All right, so we'll let those sit for five minutes and we'll be back let everything set for about five minutes or so including like I let the filter sit in the ink for five minutes and then I had to lay these down and let these sit for five minutes before we actually could do anything everything soaked up. So what we saw today was Storm. This was number nine. You can see the sparkle here. You can see the shimmer on the page. I'm not sure we could. It shows up really yeah, good. In. And so it's number nine. It's Storm's name and this ink finish is a shimmer. Peach Party was actually kind of fun. It's number 10. It's a standard ink and it's Peach Party. So those are those two. As you can see, I put everything in there nice and organizationally. Okay, so this is party time. Party time is right here. So what I've also done is I put on the bottom of the ink what day that they came in. So that's why I'm putting the numbers down here. So if I have any questions, I can just go in there and pick out what I want. Makes me think of Wayne's World. Party and this time. is a shimmer ink. So this is number 11. And this is called Party Time. And of course, 
adding to the bottle, it is a shimmer. So I'll put over here that the finish, oops, the shimmer. These are only for my purposes, so it can be however I wish it to be. Can anyone of a certain age hear the term party time and not think of Wayne's World? That's the question. So this is number 12. We're halfway through, folks. This is Stargazer. It's actually gorgeous, gorgeous blue. Is that a shimmer or? Number 12, and this is Stargazer. This is gorgeous. You don't get these things in the store, folks. That's why I got it. This is a shimmer and sheen. Stargazer would have to be a shimmer, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. Can you see any shimmer in it? I wonder. Oh, so it's shimmer and sheen, not just a shimmer. Correct. You can see the shimmer. You can see a little bit of the ink in it, a little bit of the... Move the page over and see if I can pick it up. It's hard to see it in person, really. It's kind of over here. Um, the best one, I think, was the storm. Yeah, you just see the glitter. 